What's up guys, we're going to go ahead and review Kaspersky Total Security. Now first before we review it, this is what the program looks like here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what PC Magazine had to say about this uh, software. Now Kaspersky's always been known as one of the big, one of the bigger antivirus software companies. Geek Squad likes to use their their software on their computers. I don't know if they still do, but I know for sure they do. And uh, they're very they're a very well known uh, antivirus software company. Now PC Magazine, the pros that they said about it is that it's it's got protection for PC, Mac, and Android, and it's managed online. And that's what I really like about Kaspersky is you can manage everything online. All right, you can make an account and log into it and manage all the features and everything on the software. It's got top marks from antivirus testing labs, excellent anti-phishing. Let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys can read it better. Full featured parental control, firewall and backup for PC only though. And we're gonna get to the cons here is that PC only thing that's uh that's a that's a con. Max suit is limited compared to PC is one of the cons. iOS protection is limited to password management and safe browsing. So iOS doesn't really have much uh password management and safe browsing. And it's pricey compared to with competition. If we go up here, we will notice the uh MSR MSRPs for $89.95 but uh, you can get lowest price for 35.32 at Amazon and you can click on the see it here if you want to look at Amazon for that price. I will post a link on the description of the video for uh, PC Magazine and also for um, the download page which I'll show you here in a bit for the free trial because we're going to be using the free trial. Now this is a Kaspersky website here this is where we are going to uh, this is where I downloaded the free trial from. All you got to do from here is click on free trial on this button right here free trial click on that and you can also renew and upgrade on these buttons here and once you install it this is what the program looks like here really easy to use everything is laid out for you right now there's an update happening what I really like about this program is it has um, the scan function here and update right next to it. I like a, an antivirus program that has an update button right there for you to press. That's what I like. And right now the update is still going. Uh, it's at 21%. Looks like it's a pretty big file. A lot to update on this program. Let's take a look at the scanning tools on here. Just like any other antivirus program. Now this is uh, total security. Remember, it's not it's not just antivirus. It it, it covers everything. That's what total security stands for. Uh, so they have a full scan option, quick scan, custom, if you want to scan custom folders. And they have removal drive option, scan where you can scan your USB drive or your external hard drive, whatever it might be. And you can also uh, make a task under this task manager here. Or you can view all the tasks happening here. And you can also go to settings and schedule here. And here you can go ahead and um, set the security level recommended high or low and when threat detection you can select what you want notify disinfect disinfect if not possible delete or do you want to delete all right now I am uh, here it is cool I was gonna say I was looking for the scan schedule but here it is scan schedule uh, for you can choose what type of schedule you're for full or for a quick scan and then from there you can go ahead and pick if you want to scan every day, every weekday, every weekend, weekly or monthly and you can select that and save and uh, that's how you can schedule an automatic scan for whatever time periods that you want every week, month, whatever. Alright, now let's go back and let's go back to the main screen. Just go ahead and click on the back button to go back. Now what's cool about this uh, program, since I men did mention it's total security, it does secure websites with a feature called safe money so you click here on add websites to safe money let's say uh, eBay actually PayPal eBay or PayPal whatever both of those websites I would add to this and uh, select run protected browser here uh, so you can so it can protect you while you're buying something that Kaspersky can do that for you but you gotta add the websites here so it knows which ones you're using and you can also use a virtual keyboard just in case um, 
I got to restart my computer to use it. But basically, it's just virtual. You actually click on the uh, the letters instead of using your keyboard. Because if you use your key your keyboard, the keys are logged in your computer. And if there's a if you got a virus and they're hacking you, they can they can find that log. So with a virtual keyboard, you're just clicking on the letters, and they can never trace that, right? So it's, it's got safe money for you to purchase stuff safely. Online management, this is where you uh, connect to your computer, the account. Now I'm using the free trial right now and I gotta actually buy the software to use this feature. So uh, we can't get into that, but I can say you can manage all the features online and that's what Kaspersky is known for, to have that, on, that online account for you to be able to adjust everything and manage everything. Now the password manager feature here, it's not installed. I will make a separate video for that for the password, Kaspersky Password Manager. So uh, keep a lookout for that video coming soon. It'll be a separate video. Another feature this program has is data encryption. And uh, actually, I'm trying it for the first time here. Let's test it out. So we got to add a file and folder to the vault here. Drag files and folders that you want to password protect. Let's open up the Explorer here and find something we can use. Let's go to Documents. Um, let's say there's this new... Um, I got the Mayweather versus Pacquiao full fight here. I want to save that. Let's say I'm going to put it in there. That's 500 megs actually. And let's click continue. And right now it's encrypting it. And size of data vault. You got to select the size here. It says you will not be able to change the size of data vault later. Might as well just tell them to put it as high as possible, right? Yeah, but available space now is 423 after I put that uh, that Pacquiao uh, Mayweather fight video in there. Let's click continue. Let's see what else it does. Password access vault. I'm just going to put password. We're just testing this out, guys. Password. It's password strength is too low. All right, I'll put capital P at sign dollar dollar sign W-O-R-D. Okay, let's see if I can remember that. Capital P at dollar dollar sign w zero rd now do you like that oh yeah password strength is high continue saving the data vault this may take some time now this is probably is going to take some time guys i mean that is a freaking 500 meg video that i just did guys so what i'm going to do is i will get back to you guys as soon as this is done that way you guys don't have to wait here forever all right guys so there it is data vault created successfully your files are protected Alrighty, let's click finish, and we have two in here. I actually went ahead and encrypted a different file because that man, that uh, Pacquiao Mayweather fight was gonna take forever, like probably thirty or one hour, thirty minutes to one hour. So let's take a look here. Select the data vault and enter password. Access your files. All right, so we got two of them here. The second one. I uh, saved just a regular video file. I use as an out row for my vid for my uh, YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and open it, and there it is, guys. LOL TV out row template. This is for my pranking channel, actually, and this is just a template of the out row we we're gonna make, my buddy and I. All right, and there it is. That's how the vault works. Cool. Now let's go back and look at the other features. There's a backup and restore feature. Let's go ahead and take a look at and select files. Select files to back up. Um, all files from, it lets you select all files from my documents folder, pictures and photos, movies and videos, all music files. And right now it's looking for some. I'm just going to say specific folder here. I'm going to add a folder. And let's see what folders we got here. Let's see what we can use. Da, 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 da. I got an idea. Where'd it go? There's a pictures folder in here. Let's go ahead and use that. Where is it? There it is, guys. Select that folder. Click next select backup storage so at this point you select the backup storage now local drive D that I have here that is my uh, external drive so I'm gonna just gonna choose that and uh, run backup 
Cool. So you could choose here if you want to run daily, weekly, weekend, weekly, or monthly to run this backup. I'm just going to say on demand for now. Next. Backup name. I'm just going to say uh, test backup. We're just testing this out. I need to spell that right. Test backup. Ah, it says backup, but we'll leave it like that. <laughs> run backup upon wizard completion. Yep. Next. And storage successfully prepared. All is ready for backup now. Cool. All right, and there's the folder in local D, and that's my external drive, like I said. And uh, you can just run backup whenever you want. I'm clicking on Run Backup now. It's a very, it's a very small file, so it doesn't take long to back it up. And you can select if you want to edit the settings or delete settings. So that's pretty cool. I like that that it can do it automatically for you weekly or monthly. That's pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the parental control. It may, it's asking us to create a password. We're going to create the same password we used a while ago for the other tests that we did. And click continue. And manage backup and restore. Okay, create password. Enter the password one more time. All right. And here are the users on this computer. There's me, Luis, and I don't know who that is right there. But click on configure restrictions here. We can uh, block access from time to time, allow access for no longer than this much hours. You can play with here. You can play on here with a lot of features, guys. Right now, control disabled up here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, block access from. You could do all kinds of things here. Time break, take a break at this time. If you you know you don't want your kids to be on the computer too long and take a break, you could do that. You can also block applications. If you don't want them to play certain games at certain time, you can do that too. The internet, you can restrict it. Communication. That is awesome. Even us uh, messaging social networks, you can do You can do that also. That's awesome. And content control. You can block private data transfer to third parties. So you keyword control you can do everything on here guys so the parental control feature here is awesome so this is a total security package from Kaspersky I like it it has a lot to it and it looks like our updates almost done it's at 92 percent that took forever so there it is guys thanks for watching uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish up with the settings here I don't think I showed you everything on the settings did I all right protection you can you can modify here antivirus application control attack network attack blocker all this is on by default but you can always go in there, turn it on and off. Right now, anti-spam spam is off. Let's turn it on. Anti-banner blocks banners on your web browser and some applications. That's awesome. You can turn that on too. Performance. And here, you, if you're using a laptop, you can go ahead and disable this for, for you battery saving. Uh, gaming profile. This is a special mode here in uh, Kaspersky Total Security. For launching games in full screen mode, it allows you to automatically disable some Kaspersky total security functionality such as notifications. So if you have this checked whenever you're playing a game, if Kaspersky is going to give you a notification, it will not interrupt your game. If you have this checked, if you uncheck it, it will interrupt you. Okay, guys. So just leave it how it is, and you should, guys should be good. You gamers should be good. Computer resources, you can go ahead and um, change this however you want. I recommend you just keep it all the same as far as this goes. But if you really want to go ahead and tweak the performance of your system you can go ahead and uh, uncheck or check all these here and see what works better for your computer because Kaspersky does take some of the real resources from your computer to run guys and uh, the security level on the scan you can put high if you really think you have a really nasty virus I recommend you put it to high alright but if you go high some things might some programs might get blocked alright guys action on threat detection we already talked about all this let's see additional here uh, secure data input there's a lot of features on here guys a lot that I'm going through notification settings if you wanted to notify you um, you can disable that you can do whatever you want there reports in quarantine you can go ahead and uh, modify that however you want in the reports of quarantines quarantine items connection to Kaspersky lab web services um, you can enable this if you want to if you want to connect with them and appearance you can also change the appearance of the uh, program you can change it right now the uh, the only language we got is English 
for some reason I thought we were going to see a whole list there of different languages, but no, it just has this one, guys. All right, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a heck of a lot more videos on antivirus programs, video editing software, and uh, a lot more stuff. Uh, check out my gaming channel if you guys haven't checked it out. It's on my main page. There's a link right there. My gaming name is Uno Bomber. If you guys ever want to game online, let me know. And you guys will be in my videos. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video. And stay tuned for my next video.